All right. Okay. Since we're really hungry, we're gonna start eating. Let's just eating. have the chicken first. Too. Okay. <laughs> Let's eat. This just looks really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's like a slight kick at the end, mm -hmm. but it's, it's really good. Pasta, bevo? No, my. Do I want to bevo? What's in there? I mean, if I keep eating it. Mm. I love it because it's like sweet and spicy at the same time. Mm. I couldn't order this at my house because there's no chagam chicken near where I live. Mm. And I knew that they had one in Hongdae, so I was like, okay, we gotta eat this today. Perfect. <laughs> we didn't forget. Mmm, it's like sweet. Okay, okay. This is the best cheese ball I've tried, actually. Really? I don't usually like cheese balls, but this is good. I wish it like. Like the mm -hmm. cheese kind of like stressed out. Maybe when you eat it warmer. Oh. Mm. Oh, no, it's done. I like it because it's dry. There was a fun one. Have you ever liked the same guy? No. no. We, we have. We have <laughs> really different taste. Yeah. Right? Thank goodness. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we both don't understand each other's like. Like you don't. No, like for example. <laughs> no, for example. <laughs> Like our celebrity crushes are so different. Yeah, I can't even imagine like liking the same type. Has that ever happened to you though with you and another girlfriend? Like liking the same guy? No. Mm. Oh, mm. It, it's happened to me a lot. Actually, it has happened to me. And then I was like, oh, what do you think of this guy? Mm -hmm. And then my friend was dating that person. Mm. Like secretly. But like it was like unknown. But then uh, later I was like, oh my gosh. You I, didn't know? I had no idea because it was still like in the beginning stages, like it was some time in Shigan. Mm -hmm. So back then, you know, they were, it was during that phase and then, yeah. But it happened to you a lot. It's happened a few times. In college or like here in Korea? No, junior high school, high school. Yeah. I had a really close friend stop being friends with me because, well, I didn't know she liked him because mm -hmm. she never said anything, mm. but I liked him too, and we liked each other, so we started dating, and then she completely cut me out of her life. Okay. And later, I was like, you I'm don't... sorry, I didn't no. know. You but... don't need to be sorry, she never told you about it. It's not your fault. That's true, but it was sad, because she just like cut me off completely. You're not friends with her anymore, right? No. Yeah. I tried why to reach out try? to her. Because I didn't know why she did that to me. It was like years after that I found out oh, that, that she cut me oh. out because she had feelings for my boyfriend then too. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's so like, so petty. Have you ever dated a celebrity or an idol? <laughs> Have you, Ashley? You're in the field. <gasps> no, surprisingly, I have never. Yeah, I have. I know! <laughs> that's crazy! But that was the question. <clears throat> oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny because people would expect me to mm. maybe have dated an idol since I'm in the industry, but I have never. Because mm. I don't know. I've never been attracted to anyone in the industry. Um, mm. But what? Joe, on the other hand, yeah. has dated, <laughs> dated some <laughs> celebrities. <laughs> Yeah. What was the experience like? That wasn't a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. What was yeah. it like? Well, they weren't the best experience, you know it. Mm -hmm. They were both kind of like assholes. <laughs> they were. I mean, I didn't cry over it. I don't cry over guys. <laughs> it's true though. Like, I really don't. One was a real asshole though. Yeah, one was a real asshole. Mm -hmm. Glad that's over. People Never are gonna again. Be shocked. <laughs> never again. <laughs> they are gonna be shocked. <laughs> yeah, never again, dude. There's such like, I feel like celebrities, especially if you're a guy, mm -hmm. there are so many girls who like think they're sing single, right? Mm -hmm. And so like they just find joy in like checking their DMs, mm -hmm. and they like that attention. Yeah, like in front of you, you know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like disappointing when they do that. Wait, but I'm like, what? I don't care. Yeah, they did that. Number two did that. <laughs> yeah. So like check check the DMs. In front of you? Yeah. I'll tell you about and it. And then he's like, oh yeah, I, isn't this like annoying? But I like the attention. I was like, ew, why? 
but then besides that it was like okay but like still like it's not okay mm. yeah I don't, I don't know. know. Everyone's just gonna spend hours trying to figure, figure out, out who it is. is. They will never know. They will, honestly, they will never know because I never talked about it. Yeah. But like, honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Like, I, and uh, okay, I do want to point this out. I did not like DM them first or I didn't like approach them first. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't do that. I don't do that. That's just like not my pers personality. Yeah. So I do want everyone to know that because like, I'm not like, oh, Hey, like oh, oh, just in case people think you're like yeah. a, like a groupie or whatever. Yeah, like, no, 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 I I can't do that. It's always like through mutual friends yeah. and like like that. But I wonder who they're gonna think. You guys should guess in the comments. Oh my god, don't torture them like that. <laughs> you're then, never gonna tell them. And then you can heart the ones that are close. <laughs> just kidding, don't. I wanna know who people will think. Wow, that was a very juicy little addition to the Q and A. I never talked about it. <laughs> yes, it was the first time hearing her talk about it. I know. Oh I mean, God. Ashley knew about it the whole time. She's been through all of it with me, yes. and she would always be like, "How is it?" And then we would talk about it, and then when it's bad, she's like, <sighs> "Like, yeah." But me too. Like, yeah. yeah, she's been there for me when I would cry, and I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll cry together. Was there ever a time you didn't like each other's boyfriends? <laughs> you didn't like both, right? You didn't approve of both. Um, well, you I liked both. I liked the second one mm -hmm. as a person, but I just didn't like the way it ended. Yeah. That mm -hmm. made me angry. And the first one, I honestly didn't know that person well enough mm -hmm. to like say I approve or whatever, but I mean, mm -hmm. he honestly like you over, so. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, Should I we just talk about it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> talk about it? <laughs> Shall we talk about uh, it? I mean, well, in a nutshell, there was like cheating involved, mm -hmm. there was ghosting involved, and it was just not mature. Like, we're old. Don't do that. Like, be a man. I honestly didn't grieve over it because it was just so immature. Mm -hmm. For you, I mean, I'm a friendly person, mm -hmm. so I always try to make an effort to like like whoever my friend is dating, but if they don't try, I'm like, hell no, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm very open to her. If I like notice some action, I'll be like, oh, this happened. And then she's like really nice about it and she's like, oh, okay. But other than that, like I'm, it's like your boyfriend. So like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be like, you have to break up with him right now. Like, yeah. I mean, I feel like I would do that too, but. <laughs> I mean, have you ever wanted me to break up with that person? Um, <clears throat> I have, <laughs> but I mean, it was always like your choice. <laughs> You're like, well, okay, turn the camera off. Wait, was it the first one or the second one? Well, the first one for sure, I wanted you to. Oh, oh my gosh, if you watched the last thing, no, no. <laughs> Okay, so basically the first person, um, I was like, oh, like Ashley's a bit like, she's like really akawo for this person. Like, I, I think everyone around you thought that. You do have to say. No? You don't, you, no one else has told you that? Yeah, People still have. said that to her. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but I wasn't like, mm -hmm. you have to break up with this guy. I never did that because I didn't know him too well and I was still getting to know Ashley at the time but when they broke up, that's when our friendship was like more established and I was like, oh okay, I could see that yeah second one, I was like, in the beginning, I was like <sighs> like, I felt like I was in a relationship with this person cause like, I get very emotionally attached to people for sure mm -hmm. and so like seeing you have like such a hard time in the beginning stages it was like, I was like, no, you need to like, you need to end this but yeah. it's, if it works out, it works out if it doesn't, like, I'll respect my friend but unless like, he does something terrible like, like if, cheat yeah, or cheat or cheat like i would be like you need to break up with this person right now i will no, knock on your door wake you up every day like until it happens slap me in the face yes <laughs> slap some sense back into me like for wait sure up, like, wait up the... yeah but i mean ultimately it is your decision and you know that person way more than me so mm -hmm. like i'm not gonna be like end it now unless he does something like terrible but i will always think that ashley <clears throat> is like akao for everyone <laughs> Like, it's always like that. It's always like that. Yeah, me too. It's been like that. Yeah. So. Have you guys ever gotten a Brazilian wax? Oh my first? god. <laughs> we actually went to get our sugaring done uh -huh. together for the first time. Yeah. So, 
instead of waxing we wanted to get sugaring done just because we heard it was like more natural, natural. and more safe for your skin and mm -hmm. the hair grows back thinner and it takes longer for the hair to grow yeah. back so we decided to go get sugaring together yes and i heard her scream she heard me scream i cried <laughs> Wait a minute, don't forget that. Yeah, I cried. she cried. And me, considering that was my first time, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah, so we went to get that done a few times. And yeah. then I switched over to waxing because uh -huh. sugaring was getting too painful. Mm. And it just it just hurt so much more than waxing. So I was it's like... It's such a different experience. It is. Waxing ends so much quicker and sugaring... Sugaring ends quicker too. I don't know, but okay, the amount of like hair is also different <laughs> oh my god i don't think i've ever talked about this hey but we're adults yeah we're like, and it's a it's a real thing like mm -hmm. people are curious like about don't it. be immature in the comments please please <laughs> i go for sugaring regularly i like it in the beginning i cried i sweat like it was so difficult like i regretted everything <laughs> like mm -hmm. it took me like usually it takes like about 20 minutes it took me like 50 minutes my oh yeah because you kept like stopping her yeah i was like Andrea, Andrea, come on come on <laughs> but now i like it it I was so awkward having to like <laughs> doggy. open the legs and do doggy position <laughs> ah! oh my god it was so awkward but thankfully the lady was very nice about it she is i mean of course she's a professional and she's been doing this for, for like a very a long, long time, time. So she made us feel very comfortable. Yeah, she's but like, still, I'm not pile. I was like, I'm not I was literally like holding on to the doll. I was like, oh god, oh god, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. But you get used to it. Yeah. Now you go, you're just like, okay. Yeah, let's get this over <laughs> with. I know. I mean, but the, to be honest, like I do it for myself. Like I'm not dating anyone right now. I just literally just do it for myself because it feels way better. Like when you're on your period, like I hate having hair down there it's like it's so hot especially in the summer oh um, no like so i do i i do it for myself i mean there's nothing wrong with having hair down there yeah like, that is fine for uh, like i feel like a lot of korean <clears throat> don't but yeah, yeah, yeah it's becoming more of like a a thing now like yeah. a lot of people are getting brazilian wax i also used to get laser hair removal um a lot of female idols get like bikini wax and brazilian wax I because sometimes we wear short outfits mm -hmm. and if you like spread your legs we're scared that like the, yeah you might be able to see so see a little bush down there yeah so a lot of female celebrities and idols get that done mm -hmm. and laser hair removal down there was the most painful experience they even put numbing cream for 30 minutes before getting it done but since the laser penetrates far deeper into just the skin surface oh. I was literally sweating, my whole body was sweating, my back was wet. I actually did that like six times, but how it, long does it take? It takes like five minutes though, right? For the whole process? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot quicker than mm. waxing. Um, but never again. No. <clears throat> because yeah. after I did it five, time, five or six times, I feel like it still grew back pretty regularly. Mm. But I recently talked to my friend in New York and she started getting laser removal down there. And apparently they have this new machine that's so much less painful uh -huh. and so much more effective. And she was like, I only got it a few times, but it's already working so well. So oh. I'm like, oh, okay. So there must be new technology with it. Yeah. I mean, it's always improving, right? Yeah. So I, I kind of want to try that, the new machine. <laughs> Give us an update when you do. But I heard also the laser is not good for yeah. down there, right? I yeah, that, that. I heard that too. I, I like sugaring. It's natural. It doesn't hurt as much anymore. Mm -hmm. Like the more you do it, it hurts less. Mm -hmm. um, it's better than shaving for sure. But don't go a week before your period and a week after your period mm. because you're so sensitive yeah. and it hurts like ten times more. Yeah. Even you should. We should just done like a dedicated video on <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for my main so channel. Much to say. <laughs> we do. Okay, we'll save that. Okay. How do you deal with fake girlfriends? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we don't. We really don't. Just like, bye bye. Yeah. Um. That was like the perfect answer. Moving on. Yeah. No, like we try to give people chances. chances for sure. I always give three. <laughs> like no matter how badly you. Up. I do like giving a chance, but mm. three times is a lot. I don't like dealing with them. Like at first, maybe we'll meet them through a mutual friend, mm -hmm. or maybe we'll just get connected somehow mm. and meet. We'll hang out, but right. you get those fake vibes. 
Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah, you feel it. And the more you get to know that person, mm -hmm. the more you see. Mm -hmm. So I naturally just distance myself mm -hmm. and I naturally just, you know, don't call her out and don't mm -hmm. go out if she calls me out. I think it's also because you have this aura, Ashley, <laughs> that you're like, if you don't like this person, it's very much obvious. It's, it's good. It's very good. <laughs> it's a little different for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like I try really hard to like, be like make sure everyone's having a good time right mm -hmm. and then i get really hurt when i don't get that like response back mm. and so yeah i might look very non-intimidating at first mm. but when it's like time to cut people out like it's very oh, yeah. like black or white yeah it's just like no mercy nope ultimately we don't like to deal with them we also got a lot of questions about how we met mm -hmm. um mutuals Mm. Mm. Mutual friends. Yeah. And that was also how was your first impression of each other? My first impression of mm. you was I didn't really have like a positive or like negative impression of you. It was just kind of like a oh, this is Ashley. What was your first impression of me? Um, I thought you were super Americanized because even back then your Korean mm. wasn't as good as it is now. Yeah. And the way you spoke, it was just like fully Americanized. Yeah, LA. But I never thought that from our first experience of encounter that we would get this close yeah me it too it was just like i thought it would be just like a one time oh hi nice to meet you and oh bye God, yeah me too but no yeah. for sure same right and then we had samgyetang together <laughs> and that's when we bonded yeah samgyetang and just, wine because we just started talking about everything and there and then i was like damn oh my god we vibe we because, yeah i know why we vibed yeah I know, I know what yeah you don't you remember why we vibed yeah <laughs> okay because you're like Wait, you feel that too <laughs> yeah i feel the same oh my god i thought it was just me i know oh my gosh okay yeah that's yeah. how we vibed and it was perfect it was, ever since then we just like met up like we met on a weekly basis after that yeah and then um Basically. yeah yeah dang and then we um I think we got each other, I, mean, I think we got closer because we had a lot of similarities too. Mm -hmm. We were both like November babies, like mm -hmm. our birthdays were three days apart, both Scorpios, both, well you were ESFJ back yeah. then, so we both had the yeah. same MBTI. 1991. And, yeah, 91. People thought we looked alike in the beginning. Yes, yeah. and we both moved from the States to yeah. Korea. Yeah. So we just had like a lot to talk about and bond over, yeah. and I feel like that helped us get close really fast yeah. yeah it's always helpful to have mutual um i guess interests yeah yeah mm. oh that was really deep where do you guys see yourself in seven years married to you <laughs> <laughs> hubby um, oh my god seven Wait, years seven years we're gonna be 35 maybe 35 because we're 28 right now like, <gasps> international age oh my gosh yeah. 35 35 doesn't sound that old it doesn't right i feel like age is something that people are afraid of mm -hmm. but the more you experience life yeah you're just like oh 30 okay like i thought like 40 would be so scary but like mm -hmm. i met a lot of people who are in their 40s 40s right now who are doing like business like body mm -hmm. home and they're all like 40 is the best like mm -hmm. because you know 20s is like when you're discovering yourself, right? Yeah. 30s is like you kind of know, like you have your place, and uh -huh. 40s is like you you know and mm. you have money. Oh, yeah. So you can kind of do both, mm. like work and enjoy life. Yeah. And, okay. What do you think? And so, 35. I honestly don't know. I have no idea. No. And. I'm not like the type to plan for the future. I just mm. kind of like go with the flow. I'm a very spontaneous person. If a good person comes along, like who knows, I might just get married and live oh happily God. like that. If they don't, I'm just gonna, you know, continue to work and live to the fullest mm -hmm. and enjoy my adulthood because I really didn't get to from when I was like 21 mm. to 28. So those seven years, like I'm gonna enjoy from <laughs> now on, and I am enjoying that right now. Right. Um, but I really can't say. There's no like future that I want mm. that I'm envisioning. I just I think that's like, good though. Yeah, yeah. It's good to be. I don't know. Like, 
I used to have like five year plans of where I will be, mm -hmm. but now like I kind of just live in the moment. Yeah. I honestly thought after like your contract, you would move back to America and get married and have like a child right now. I mean, that was originally the plan. Yeah, but... I thought that's what your plan was gonna be. But like, again, like it's just, you never know. I wanted to get married when I was like 24. Me too. <laughs> I wanted to be a young mom. Me I wanted too. four kids. Yeah. But now I'm like, I don't even know if I want kids at all. But I don't yeah. know how I will feel in seven years. Mm. I might really want kids. Yeah. Or I might have adopted. Like, who knows? Yeah. It's just... We're a puppy. Yes, I might be a dog mom or a dog cat mom. mom but... Seven um, years is still a long time. Seven years is the length of my contract. <sighs> seven years? Dang. You need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I will. Spill the beans on your seven year contract. <laughs> Where would you like to be when you're 35? I guess I would like to be a little more stable than I am now in every aspect, like emotionally, mm -hmm. mentally, and financially. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to live closer to my parents mm -hmm. because they will have gotten older. Mm -hmm. So I do want to be able to check up on them more often than I do now. Mm -hmm. I just want to maintain this group of friends that I have now mm. and maybe also be in a relationship both like stable mm. have the best of both worlds yeah. and also be successful mm. um, working for myself yeah yeah that's good yeah how about you same <laughs> no for sure like mm. I feel like right like so many people especially like whenever I go to like a family gathering or any like professional meetings or something mm. the first thing they ask is always like are you dating anybody mm. and it's it's become such a thing where girls like at a certain age need to get like married at a certain time but mm. like that is not in my near timeline mm. whatsoever but, I mean it would be nice but I don't know when that's going to be so yeah, but I mean, it would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> it would be nice. It'd be nice to like depend on someone. I think mm. it'd be great to have that when I'm 20, 35. Yeah. Maybe Abe will be that person where I could depend <laughs> on him to be like, give me your phone. Yeah, I really want you to be able to depend, <laughs> depend. on someone because you're so independent and you're such a hustler. And but the thing like... is, that scares people. Did you know that? Yeah, it people scares... get intimidated yeah. by that. All the guys mm -hmm. get scared of that. And I feel like they make mistakes because of that mm -hmm. right don't you think because they want to be like the provider yeah they want to wear the pants oh and they want to provide and they want the girl to just like you know depend on them yeah but it's like i remember the i remember when um the second person mm -hmm. was like oh i want joan to like depend on depend on me and like mm -hmm. you know like and then she straight up said joan is not going to be that person <laughs> When you said that, I was like, dude, Ashley knows me so well. Yeah, I was like, you like, got the wrong girl. <laughs> dude, you got the wrong girl. I know, dude. it was so funny. Yeah. yeah, that just shows like you really know like if that person's going to be like right or wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. But that was right. funny. <laughs> funny. Funny addition. <laughs> I just remember you're like, she's not going to be that person for oh, you, you know? sorry. <laughs> I like honesty. What if Ashley slash Joan date your brother? I know both of you have younger brothers. No. <laughs> well, yeah. Joan does like younger boys. Yeah, that is that is a fact. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are still trying to figure out which celebrity or idol I dated, <laughs> they're all younger Stop than me. Stop giving them hits. <laughs> Oh yeah, because there are so many people who are younger right now. Everyone! Yeah, everyone's <laughs> younger than us. Um, um, yeah, I've never dated someone who's older, so... Wait, what was the question? Uh, what would... If oh, no. We dated our no, brothers? both of us, no. I mean, no. I don't know. Yeah, no. No, stop! No. I don't even want to no, imagine it! I was it. thinking of like, oh, sister-in-law, but then oh, ultimately, no. no. 
but it'd be cool to like be actually sisters in law like by paper. No, I wouldn't mind that. It's just I can't imagine yeah, my I brother can't. and you or my brother oh, and God, you. Oh god, no, we're such good friends. Like no, Ashley and Abra like you he's like your other little brother. Yeah, Could so you? oh god. No, no. no. Don't, don't ever ship us. Like Ew, <laughs> she just she don't. No, don't. Please don't. Wow, people are just like going to town on us right now. It's just so I don't know if I can provide some insight on body image or like body insecurities because that's still something I struggle with too. So it's yeah. like you have your days when some days you feel mm. really confident and some days you're like, I look like shit. Yeah. And of course your hormones have to do a lot with that too. Oh yeah. But it's just so hard. I'm not at a place where I can be like, oh, like just yeah. think like this, like it's like this because mm. I still struggle with it. With yeah, that too, so. of course. I feel like yeah, same, same here. Like for me, like the week before I'm on my period and after, I don't want to be in a bikini. Like I don't. I don't even want to be out. Yeah. I'm so bloated. I mean, I feel like everyone will have like their insecurities. How to be confident? Like mm -hmm. I mean, it's something that we struggle with too. So, mm -hmm. but I guess that could be also like somewhat of an advice. Because for them, they probably look up to yeah. your photos yeah. or like our videos and be like, oh mm. my gosh, like perfect, perfect, perfect. But mm. no, we're not perfect. Honestly, the posts I upload on Instagram, the pictures I take, Joan can testify because she took like a thousand pictures for me today, literally. Like, she just holds on to the burst mode on the iPhone. I and learned that today. She learned it for the first time today, guys. Yeah. She's been using iPhone for like the last 10 years. <laughs> Mind-boggling, like, but anyways. that was? Yeah, and then I choose like one or two from there, guys. Yeah. So you guys have to know that. Like, and it's all about the angles. I, I make her go back. I'm like, no, like, you know, make sure my foot's on the very bottom. No, okay, the actually, I don't get that much though from you. Really? I'm pretty good. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. But there are people in our group where they're like, they're scared to take photos for Ashley. Cause, no, but it's, it's good to be particular though, I would say. It is. I go beyond particular. I'm like, no, I don't like this. Yeah. No, I don't like this. Come on. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to leave the camera right like here. This. You just take the camera and take yeah, it. Okay? Like I like set the angle for them. Oh, so no. don't feel bad looking at the photos. Yeah. And thinking like, oh my gosh, she has such a good body. Like she's mm. so tall. Like. I'm not tall. I'm only I, like five six. It's okay, she's all the tall. Angles. I'm not tall. Like, <laughs> but honestly, it's not even about how tall you are. It's kind of like about Angle. like the proportions and the yeah. angle. So, yeah. Awesome. Maybe one more question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we ever fight? And what was it about? Do we ever fight? No, we never fought. I feel like for us, if something bothers us, mm -hmm. we'll mention it. Mm -hmm. And. I feel like we also have the nunchi to be like, oh, I think I effed up. So yeah. like, let me apologize for that. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, we don't fight. We never have to fight. Yeah. I feel like, Majo. not to brag, but I feel like we're very good at that, keeping that line. Because even with friends and best friends, it's important to still respect each other mm -hmm. and still have that bond boundary that you don't really cross often. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, we are good at that. Like mm. when we meet each other, we have so much fun and yeah. we still talk about a lot of deep stuff. Like yeah. we go to each other for advice. I, I also like feel like we are very similar in personality mm -hmm. where like, um, I've had to cut off some people because they need to be texting me like 24 seven. Like mm -hmm. they've like moved to America and they're like, why aren't you texting me? And I'm like, I don't have time. And also the time difference, mm -hmm. but we like don't need to text each other like 24 seven. Like yeah. we're not in like a relationship. And also like, we just kind of like get each other. We know what bothers each other. We have this established friendship already, mm -hmm. which is crazy because we've only known each other for like three years. Yeah, three, four years. But I feel like I've known you for like a decade now. Yeah, for really long. Yeah. And also I feel like as I get older, I don't fight with my friends because mm. you know when you're younger, you have a lot of drama and yeah. you're just so catty and you fight all the time. You're like, why would you do this? Like, oh my but, god, you're yeah. such a bitch. But now I feel like we're old enough to know if we'll um, vibe with that person or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if we vibe well, there will be no reason to fight because there will always be one person 
being a little more understanding, being more considerate. Mm -hmm. I feel like as you get older, you mature and you are more considerate of the other person too. Yeah. So I feel like there's no reason to really clash. Right. But like with boyfriends, I'll always fight. Like <laughs> no matter how old I get, I feel like I know. with boyfriends you always fight because I don't know. It's just so complicated. What is that? No, actually, I mean, I've never. I don't fight. And that's why it's a problem for me, cause I'm I don't get like super jealous or anything. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why it's gonna be it's gonna take a while for me to like find someone to date. Yeah. Cause you know like I noticed patterns for you mm -hmm. and like our other girlfriends, they do fight in the beginning stages. Yeah. But for and me, you're still I'm getting to know each but, other. but I guess I like just haven't really because for me it's like if you're like that you're like that like whatever. Mm -hmm. But then now I'm like starting. I'm getting more and more like I question everyone that's new now. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah. it gets harder and harder for me to like meet people and date people because mm. they just there was just so many f***ed up relationships. Yeah. <laughs> about, there were so many bad relationships. It's hard to trust people. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. Yeah. Ultimately, we don't fight because we understand each other. We know what we like. We know what we don't like. And we're very mature about it. Yeah, we don't want to hurt each other's feelings, obviously. And so, yeah. and if you feel like you f***ed up, I think it's important to realize that and mm -hmm. accept that and apologize first. Yes. Like you have to be that the helps. one going up to that person and be like, oh, you know what? Like I thought about it, the thing I said the other day or the mm -hmm. thing I did, I think that was f***ed yeah. up and I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta be mature enough to yeah. apologize when you need to. And sometimes they're gonna be like, what? I never thought that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's happened oh, no, a few times. I like, that didn't bother me at all. Yeah. What are your birthday plans? Are you gonna celebrate together? I mean, probably. I mean, it's always nice to like celebrate it together. Yeah, we uh, since two years ago, we've been doing our birthday parties together mm -hmm. because we have a lot of mutual friends and we like having fun and we like yeah. sharing it with everybody yeah. and treating our friends out. So. We have been doing that for the past two years, but honestly, with Corona this year, I don't know how it's going to be. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's still kind of far away, so I haven't been thinking about it much. Yeah. We still have like October to think about. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we do have like a lot of mutual friends. Mm -hmm. If we don't know them, we still invite our friends, mm -hmm. and then we're like, please get to know this person. Yeah, Cause, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because last year. At our birthday party, you brought Ayoung, and that's yeah. how I met her for the first time. Right. I met the CLC girls at your birthday, oh. our birthday party. Because oh. wine is so here. good. Yeah. Oh, I keep doing that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right. I'm just holding a chicken in my hand, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this girl talk mm -hmm. over wine. If you guys want to go to detail on any of the topics like waxing, let, let us, us know. know. And thank you for asking your questions, guys. Yes. And we're gonna finish the wine and the chicken. We're gonna take a bath and enjoy our night. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.